challenge and thus required due diligence. To verbalize such vital critiques and feedback requires a superior form of metal on the part of those charged with this responsibility. To lead your tempered evaluation team this morning, please help me welcome Master Evaluator ATM Ty Patton. Let's hear it once again for four great people. I can assure you, I am not the only one that is glad I'm not competing against you this yeah. morning. You were all great. Fantastic. To find out just how great, not Aaron, we need to hear from the evaluators at the point of each one. Now, Michael Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they take that first punch. <laughs> we need to find out how much metal each of us have when we take those punches. So evaluating Tim Taylor this morning, we have evaluator number one, Jay Shaw. Help me welcome Jay Shaw. Speech. Did he do well? Yes. 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 Did he fail? No. Yes. Is he a failure? <laughs> no. He's not a failure. He's doing a good job. Let's get some of the positives. You, you made a line that was memorable. Memorable enough for me to botch it right there. You <laughs> started to lose, but it worked. You, you punched that in over 10 times. You listed 10 people, nine famous people, and one of our own Linda Millen brought it close to home that way. That was very skillful. And you made a very cogent point about temperacy and failure. And each one of your points served to support that. And the crux of your speech was learn to see failures as your friend. Never give up. We can all relate to that. Me with my singing, me with my attempts, Alex with whatever his failures may be, Carmelo, Taylor, uh, Sean, <laughs> Ty, whatever it may be, we all have failures and we develop identities around them. And you're telling us, keep going. It's a very positive note of encouragement to improve, or maybe some micro failures that were within the speech. It was a very formulaic delivery of, it was like a laundry, it was like an IT list of different people. I recommend to humanize it. Talk about your own, talk about your own failures. Make it Tim, make it Tim speaking to us, not Tim writing a program about how you can see failures and work around them. Say, in 2008, during the recession, my IT business was ended, but I started nine years ago. We were at this crux, we had all these contracts, and they all just disappeared. And I had to figure out what to do. And I didn't give the story. When you make it human, it connects with us better. So when you make this speech more human, you can really bring this speech and bring this message around the world. The only question is, do you have the metal to really bring yourself to the speech? Thank you. <laughs> to be noted as well, you ended with a quote from Winston Churchill when he was given a commencement speech. Never, never, never give up. Well, I didn't even think you should saying. never give up. Thank you, Tim. Never. <laughs> Evaluator number two. To evaluate Mark Ailer's study. Just about a DTM. Mark Ailer. A DTM. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, yes. Mark, your speech was good for what ails me. Call upon Mark to connect with storytelling. Did he succeed? Yes. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, first of all, you had the trademark Mark Ehlers humor. Something about Mark's humor. You know, it doesn't jump up and down and wave its arms at you. It just kind of sneaks in, sits next to you, and then all of a sudden you're aware of it and you smile. I love it. 
For example, <laughs> Professor Comer's class, the anecdote. I can see you've been thinking intently about this. <laughs> Folks, I am Professor Comer too. And when I asked that question, I know they weren't paying attention. That's why I asked the question. It was great. And you also have every track team needs a shot putter. I love that. You, you stood in front of the lectern, and still you had the presence of mind to stride up and shake hands with the Toastmaster. It's attention to little details like that. You had a multitude of gestures. You had the fat to the husky to the normal gesture. I might have liked you to add, and when I was fat, what kind of music did I listen to back then? Heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> You had the manual printed out. This is another attention to detail. No rushing. He handed it to me. I knew what he wanted. And he invoked authority with DR in that quote, face marred by dust and sweat and bright. But there are a couple of things you could do. Number one, situational awareness. Everyone pay attention to this because it makes a difference between a really good and a great speech. Be aware of what's going on around you. Your speech was about being first and last. Your opening line was about being first and last, and your last speaker spoke about failure. You could have started by saying, I have failed too, Tim. I have known being first and last, and then launch into your speech. Also, you did the fig leaf gesture. Seriously, please speak about 40 times. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nervous gesture. Be aware of that. I've got so much more. However, you closed with TR, and I would remind you that it was if you fail all very greatly, but you did not want it. You succeeded. Wow. Speaker number three was Toastmaster Bible. One, we have DTM, Carmelo Gallardo III. Help me welcome. <laughs> I was very helpful today. She came up to me at the break and gave me the points that she was looking to accomplish. First was pacing. Let me back up a bit. As you do every day with your Facebook Lives, Bonnie, you exemplify great metal with your speech. Well, pacing was her first thing. I'm going to get to that after comfort. Your comfort got a lot better as your speech progressed. When you stood at the side here while you were in, in, being introduced, a lot of people do this. They, they go like this. <laughs> now, that's kind of a subconscious gesture to protect almost. <laughs> you know, I say stand up tall, be confident, stand straight. It's hard, just like pausing is hard, the silence is hard. Do it. Pacing, your pacing was fast. In the beginning, if one was not extremely focused, they might have missed part of that content. But then when you got out there, you you nailed your next thing with its authenticity. You connected with your audience, no worries there. Timing, timing was perfect. And you use your notes a lot. I say, be Bonnie. Trust yourself to know the story that you probably told hundreds of times. Use a bullet point and just look at your audience and tell the story. That's that's very powerful. I love the park dump. As soon as you said that, I, I got that. <laughs> your props, they were great. I said about the audience involvement, you handled that well. The only real suggestion I have for you is to use the Pathways literature because it will give you a, a roadmap and it will also give you an evaluator a roadmap on how to evaluate you based on the speech. But you did mention um, in the beginning that it was a pathways speech. Great job. Just keep being by.
on. We're going to find out just exactly how well you did right now from those passengers casting motor movement. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning. For a speech titled Not Interested and your goal of holding the audience's interest, you definitely accomplished that goal. You started out when you were being introduced with great eye contact. You involved the audience immediately. That's really the key when you're and you're trying to get warmed up, it helps you keep calm and smile. And you start out your speech really warmly and holding our interest. You showed us your mettle, definitely, by being brave and vulnerable, sharing your failures, just like, you know, it, it's the theme today, with failures and using your failures for success. So that was a really great lesson. During, you used humor throughout the speech. And you used body language very effectively, getting out, involving Lazar, you involved the audience, and that also helps hold their interest as well. The humor, the humor was really funny. Your demeanor throughout the whole speech was very open. I love your open stance. You use your hands well and you use your eyes well, and that really holds the audience interest. Your descriptive language was also very funny. The self-esteem on the grindstone, and you put a little sound effect for her. And you um, <laughs> Also, you did black holes in Nova, which I think was really funny. <laughs> a few important points. Locate your prop first. I know it, things get moved when you're the last person, because that makes you a little bit tenser, and you getting into working with Lazar, that was a little rougher. So maybe try to practice that a little bit more, possibly. That, and, and moving in front of the lectern, and then back behind, in front and back behind. Stay out in front. Why not, right? You didn't use your notes. Why not? But all in all, you had a very effective speech for your presentation in the mastery path. I think you mastered that. You had a really great presentation. And you turned failure into success. Thank you.